Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, members of the media. Welcome to Hutch's on the Beach, and thank you very much for attending this event. We tried to keep two secrets from you, but you've already found out about the name change. The other one that we're here to announce today is that we'll be, be, be playing an outdoor game this summer at Bernie Arbor Stadium. Actually, all of our games will be outdoors at Bernie Arbor Stadium until they put a dome over it. So. In all seriousness, though, we're very pleased to relaunch Hamilton's IBL franchise as the Hamilton Cardinals Baseball Club today. We look forward to continuing the high-flying action on the field as we continue to give back to our community. To enable progress, changes are inevitable, and it's uh, time has come upon us to change back to the story franchise named Cardinals so that our visions of IBL baseball in the great city of Hamilton can be realized. Also with the St. Louis Cardinals' recent World Series championship, combined with the Thunderbirds' name running its course, we knew the time was right to make this change. The entire Hamilton Cardinals organization is looking forward to building on this storied franchise history as we go forward. And I hope you, the fans, and the media, will embrace this franchise and help us bring great baseball and another championship back to the city of Hamilton. Thank you. I'd now like to welcome our field manager and Hamilton Cardinal alumni, Matt Fortuna, to say a few words. Matt? It's beautifully. Welcome aboard. Thank you. <laughs> First off, I'd like to uh, thank all of you, members of the media, and as well some of our distinguished guests, members of the Cardinals organization, for attending today. Uh, I'd also like to thank Drew and Larry and everyone else behind the scenes that has uh, made this come true. Uh, for years, Hamilton baseball was synonymous with the Cardinals. And when I was a young boy, I mean, no older than Hayden or Christian here, and I would go to baseball games at Bernie Arbor Stadium with my dad, and we'd go see the Hamilton Redbirds, and we'd go see the Hamilton Cardinals. And it gave me an opportunity to look at where I wanted to end up. I always wanted to play for the Hamilton Cardinals. And with this name change today, back to the Cardinals, it gives us for the first time in Hamilton baseball a unified system, a group of 10-year-olds all the way up to 25, maybe even some 30-year-olds, who can play for the Hamilton Cardinals organization. I still remember uh, when I was 17, and uh, I got a call from Brian Hansen, who was the owner of the Cardinals for years, and he... You know, his raspy voice said, uh, Matt, what are you doing tomorrow night? And I said, well, nothing, Brian. And he's like, well, you're going to come play for the Cardinals. And I, I leapt at the opportunity. And that's what I want for these guys. I want these guys to feel that same joy of going to play baseball in Hamilton, especially for the Cardinals. Now, ironically, when I walked into the clubhouse that day, I, I saw Dean DeCenzo, who's going to be speaking in a couple minutes, and I made him feel old. And he said, you know, wow, you're half my age. <laughs> I'm probably going to go through that in a few years with some of these guys too, but it's a fantastic thing that we're back being the Cardinals, and uh, I look forward to seeing all of you guys and many more people at the ballpark. So without further ado, I'd uh, like to call up Dean, and uh, Dean DeCenzo will say a few words. I can hold this? You get to hold that, buddy. I hold for you. Uh, thanks. They said a few words. I don't know if anybody knows me. That could take a while. Uh, first of all, thanks for everybody to come uh, coming here today. Uh, I gotta I gotta say a special thanks to Drew and the senior team. Uh, for me, this has been a long time coming. Uh, I go back, and I'd be remiss not to mention guys like uh, Vic Rosser and Brian Hansen, uh, Gene Bartolozzi, guys who had the same vision as we've had for years uh, to have the unified system right from nine years old into senior. And uh, it took a while, but uh, it's, it's here now, and uh, there's nothing but positives to come from it. Uh, from our association standpoint, uh, our nine-year-old kids will now look forward to playing at senior baseball. It'll be uh, uh, a process to go right through. We're training baseball players right now uh, to play senior intercounty baseball. Uh, we are very confident that the players that we produce in the future will be uh, frontline players for the senior team and it's a win-win for everybody involved with baseball in Hamilton. Uh, the only thing I can say is uh, when Matt was a guy, a 17-year-old, at any given time, when I asked Matt uh, to play for us at you know drop of the dime, I can remember being in Brantford, calling him last minute, and he showed up to play. 
So we're very confident that uh, the team will go in the right direction with Matt being the uh, manager. Uh, anything else from that standpoint is all positive. We look forward to seeing everybody in that stadium. We like to see everybody wearing the Cardinal colors. Uh, it would be a great place to play, and uh, we look forward to uh, working with the senior team in the future. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Thanks, Steve. I'd like to take this opportunity now to thank Rick Cregan and his fabulous staff here at Touches on the Beach for hosting uh, this event and the reception. I'd also like to thank you. I'd also like to thank Julio May and her event management uh, students, Gabby, Rachel, and Stefan, for helping in all their efforts in rebranding the Hamilton Cardinals Baseball Club. Thank you very much. And thanks once again today for attending. It looks like the best fish and chips and nibblies in the peninsula are about to be served, and I invite the media to ask questions and conduct interviews while we're eating. Thank you so much for coming. Let's have a great season.